Yo, 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 welcome back to some more Bioshock Infinite. We're going to jump straight back into it. He will abandon you, my sweet Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Once he has what he needs, he will leave you alone. What else could you expect from a liar and killer of women? Father, Comstock. prophet, whomever you are, I'm leaving and there's not you can do to stop me. Oh, sweet child. That's where he is wrong. Take this for the bleeding. Go ahead.
me out with this lock? No problem. Done. When you were unconscious on the beach, you kept repeating a woman's name. Anna. I don't want to talk about that. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have pried. Where are you from, Mr. DeWitt? New York. What did you do there? Business much like this. Something that really caters writing on a resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. <laughs> How do you think I ended up here? I gambled, and now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you. Onto this. Okay, catch. Nice. like they call you the false shepherd. And you the lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. <laughs> Feel better already. No one... Wait, what is that? 40 North by 74 West. That's not Paris, that's New York. How did you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can... <laughs>
So you're this false shepherd we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Because it sure look like old Comstock's airship to Listen, me. Listen, I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is, which side are you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the Vox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join the Vox. I just want my ship. And the Vox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the Vox. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith who can supply weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him, and you shall have your ship back. <laughs> Find Elizabeth before she lights out of here. The most common complaint I hear from the working man is that they are unhappy with their lives. Flying squad came and took him.
You want to know what we do to pretty little stowaways? Or maybe you don't. Hey! Just stop for Stay a minute! Stay away from me! Stay away! I just want to talk to you! Elizabeth! Get away from me! Just hold up for a minute! Stay away! I'm not angry with you! Hey, watch out! Move it! Move! Stay back! God damn it! I am not going with you! Don't go in there! I have no need of one Where? such as it's you! Her. No, no, no! There's got to be another way in. Keep close watch. Get your hands off of me! Let me go! Doc wants you, and we mean to give you to you! <laughs> I'm slipping! Do not attempt to follow me, Mr. DeWitt. Elizabeth, I've made an arrangement to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes. I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton. Should be a walk in the park. What do you say? Partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. Don't get too comfortable with my company, Mr. DeWitt. You are a means to an end. No more.
gunsmith. Seem to find this person. Daisy Fitzroy. Doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. Peace of good cheer. History tells us that the painter saw Welcome to Fink Industries Recruitment. We are not looking for any help. You hear that? No help. Where are you going to get into Fink? Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Think you can pick this? Go. Over there, the service elevator. She should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. They will leave you with naught but the sound of their laughter. money. Catch, Booker. Nice. Booker, it's Slate's locker. He must have worked here. This is my it was died. Slate that we killed. Why would uh, Slate have okay. it? husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother, she had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. I hold in my hand. Journal of Comstock's wife. It puts the lie to this miracle child nonsense. She loved the child not. Greeting. It seems my name is Jeremiah Fitzroy, and I want to share with you my things. personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee. Have you ever seen a bee? On vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, 
B, the B. B, the B. Um, hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes. Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Well, the man's got an ego. find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman's state. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Gunsmith or scavenge supplies by the clock? 20 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes now, bit 14. We give you 14. Here it is, book. I have a pressing need to speak to this so called false shepherd stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. He's amiable. Yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. Nine days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worshipped right now. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. <laughs> Excuse me. Ma'am, I'm sorry to bother you. I'd... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He gone. Gone? They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Maylin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> Who is the flying squad? Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. I 
Let's figure out where this good time club is. Thanks. find Mr. Lin and just call me Booker. Find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Watch out, Fireman! Ammo, take it! <laughs> <laughs> Nice!
machines. I'll give the old boy credit, though. It would be fewer mouths to feed. <laughs> Interested now in your job, I know Fink. all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fitz Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. Booker, there's a door over here. I think that's the way down. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the for me as well. Hmm. Can you open this, Elizabeth? Hmm. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? And I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Ready. What was that? A cipher. A secret message from the Vox Populi. Secret codes? Cipher should be around somewhere. What you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook? We know you can hear us. You want to say something? You want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. Ain't no privies down here. Is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races. Is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black. Is it not cruel to banish your children? He looks... You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. Cruelty can be instructive. And what is Columbia if not... 
not the schoolhouse of the Lord. Can you get this open? to deserve to be locked up in a place like this. Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. Can you open this? Give me a second. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. Ready. Do it? You're a liar. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, to which not hyenas. We're too late. God damn it. Nick. This is what he meant. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? Where the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want What from... do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. From that angle? Alive. Fuck. Chen Lin. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? <laughs> Okay, open it. Look. There's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. How could it have changed if he's still here? I don't understand how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. These men. Killed them. They were dead. Makes my head hurt.
Want to hold on to this? Catch! Appreciate it. Hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. M Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin, if... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Heal my husband? Calm his troubled thoughts. Ease his burden. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe if, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. She... Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Did you notice? He seems to be in style. You know, so sure I wasn't born deaf. <laughs> I hear one of these people. 
Much obliged. Got it. About what? My finger. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't... It's all right. It's as much a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Solomon knows, but he's not talking. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. What for? Do it. Timing. You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. It must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak but to pay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we're going to end today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and liked everything. If you did, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you really enjoyed it. I'm Sky Zilich. We are on Twitch and YouTube, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.